always like rearranging things around the house because it can fucking help me. Um. I'm charging my phone right now. It's only 24%. I'm basically going to change out of the jeans. The outfit. I told myself I was going to post on IG today and TikTok and all this, but it's like, I can't be bothered. What day is it? Hold on. Okay. It's still Saturday, so I still have time to like post tomorrow if I want. I'm just not feeling it today. I never feel like it. Honestly, I was contemplating like even on my like all my trips photos. I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to upload it. Like, why do I need to upload it? I have the memories for myself. I know you guys would love to see it, but personally, like, I don't really care to share it. <laughs> you know, I don't think everything needs to be shared online. How tall am I? I am five foot seven and a half or five foot eight, and I weigh like a hundred and ten. So glad I have a uh, cutting board now. Okay, I'm gonna change really quick. <clears throat> I'm just throwing on like more brandy basically. And my room is like, such a mess. Okay, it's time to close the windows. almost night time for me because I sleep so early like I really fixed my whole life like I'm telling you I was drinking so much like like guys I was having like oh my god like like literally minimum four drinks a day like fresh out wake up in the morning like boom wake up smoke a blunt take a shot by 12 o'clock i'll be on my second shot like it was like i was downing like shots after shots after shots like of the whole day smoking all day like i was on a crazy like binge since like uh i would say like not january but like february until april and yeah, it was like me. I had I had a whole bottle of Habiki, like Japanese whiskey, all by myself. Um, I'm having I almost finished my whole fucking tall bottle of Casazo by myself. Literally, like I was drinking nonstop. Especially, I have a bar cabinet at my house, so it's like fucked up. I was drinking nonstop, smoking nonstop, uh, being a slob, not brushing my teeth, not washing my face before bed, not working out, eating like the fattest cunts. Like I would fall asleep ordering McDonald's, open the door next day, confused of why there's even McDonald's outside my door. Like the McFlurry fucking melted a uh, a stale ass burger and fries, like just sitting there outside my fucking door. Like bitch, like I was a fat cunt. Like why are you thinking about food? Well, you're passing out, bitch. Like, did you really need to order that? Like, you're so fat. You fat fuck. You're such a fat fucking bitch. Like, you're passing out. You couldn't even stay up for your food. Like, that's how I know there's something wrong with me. Like, you're, oh, you're a fat bitch. Like, you keep this up. You're gonna be a fat motherfucking obese piece of shit like the rest of the U.S. motherfucking A. You know what I mean? Like, I had a serious problem. This isn't, this isn't that cute. Like, ooh, she got too fucked up. Like, ooh, that's so cute. Like, she got a little fucked up and she forgot her food outside. Oh, that's so cute. Like, it happens. No, bitch. Like, it was happening, like, consistently. No, like, I'm telling you. Like, stop being kind to me. Like, I know you guys are trying to be nice to me. 
But like I'm telling you, my fat ass, this was this was happening like three, four times. I would get mad at these postmate like uh delivery drivers sometimes, like for leaving my food downstairs and not even bringing it to my door. Like I would get in arguments because my food wasn't getting delivered properly. Like, what kind of fat ass thing is that? Like who fights who fights the the postmate person about your food? Like it's not that serious, you know what I mean? Like your fat ass can actually go take a couple steps down the fucking stairs to go pick up your food. Like stop being a fat fuck. You're telling me you couldn't even you're not even taking serious, but you pressing two buttons to go down to the elevator to go collect your food. Like you didn't even have to cook it. Like like you know how you know you're fat when you're arguing with the postmate motherfucker. And try to come up with excuses to get a refund. You know what I mean? Like, I'm fat. Like, I'm telling you bitches. Like, a bitch was actually, like, a fat cunt. Like, oh my god, who's texting me? But yeah, like, it was just not giving. Like, I was, I was like a fat lard. Like, uh, I was putting on clothes and I was like, fuck this, like, uh, dryer. Like, I've never fucked up my clothes before. Um, yeah, the skirt said it was supposed to be dry clean only. I shouldn't have machine dried it. It must have shrunk my skirt. And bitch... I never take anything to dry cleaner. I don't care if it's Chanel. I'm throwing it in the washer and I'm throwing it in the dryer. If it fucks up, fuck it. I just throw it away or I sell it or I donate it. It's not that serious. Like, it's clothes. Like, I only wear clothes for a, uh, a couple of times unless it's my favorite piece. But, like, be so for real. Like, I'm throwing everything in the washer and dryer. It's fucked up. Like, sometimes I'll, like, dry it flat. But, like, literally, I was, like, so gaslighting myself. Like, you're not fat. Like, you just wash this skirt wrong it's supposed to be dry clean you you put in the dryer there's no way you're getting fat like you literally just shrunk your clothes like there's like i was literally gaslighting myself telling me like you're not fat you just wash your clothes wrong and you shrunk it like bitch delusional delusional fat ass delusional fat fuck fat ass Fat ass, big back, belly, like bitch. A bitch was fat. Like, how you, how are you gonna gaslight your own self and tell yourself that you shrunk your clothes in the dryer instead of telling your own self, no, bitch, you gained weight and you're a fat fuck. Like, bitch. And I put on another skirt from like the Attico, like my white cargo skirt. I could barely button it. And I remember when I bought the skirt and I told my friend Carolina before, like, dude, this skirt is so big. I need to get it tailored. And it was a size 25. At the time, I was a 23 to 24. But the only size they had in that skirt was a 25. Like, how did that skirt go from me needing to get it tailored two sizes down to the, to the point where I couldn't even button it? And I hadn't... I hadn't shrunk this skirt. I hadn't put it in the fucking dryer. I didn't do shit with the skirt. This I hadn't worn this skirt in over a year since I last took the photo with me in it in Soho, New York of last year in April. I haven't touched the skirt for a full on year. My fat ass couldn't fit in any of my clothes. So I said, you know what? The skirt is two sizes big, I remember. That's the only thing I could fit in. I put that shit on. Guess what? Bitch. It was so small. Like, I, I'm a fat ass. I must admit. I must admit I've gained weight. And I'm a fat cunt. That's it. What can I say? And now this fat ass bitch is trying to lose this fat fucking weight. And you guys know I'm honest. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. So now, like, I'm just very mindful. Like, my fat ass ate so much right now. Like, just eating that fucking chicken thigh. And that fucking salad was, like, beyond me. Like, I should have just had... 
I should have just had that fucking chicken and that little lettuce and that's it. Bitch did not need to make a whole fucking arugula fucking heirloom tomato fucking garden summer salad. Like, please. That was so unnecessary. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is my brandy elephant. <laughs> I've been like obsessed with brandy like I've been telling you it just makes me feel skinny like since I've been on a fat ass journey and I know that brandy Melville or that Jay Galt brand is like a one size like fits all basically and so like just being in a one size fits all and I fit in a one size fits all it just makes me feel so tiny because I feel like that brand is for like little girls too so like you know, like, feeling tiny and, like, cute, it's just, like, it's just what I'm feeling these days. It's just what I'm feeling right now. Where's my necklace from? My necklace is from Mimi So. I got it for Valentine's Day. But it's very gorgeous. I love cute brands like this because I feel like it's understated. Like, I wouldn't buy, like, obviously, I would have, like, Graf or, like, Van Cleef Butterfly. But I think it's more, like, if you know, you know. It's kind of like a, it's like new money people buy the fucking Van Cleef and shit. It's like, if if you know, you know. That's, like, more cool. And it's, like, not cheap. It's, like, three, four grand for this necklace that I got as a gift. But, like, who gives a fuck? Um, I'm not buying jewelry for myself anymore, nor did I ever really. Um, like, everything I have is basically, like, gifts. I don't buy shit anymore. Like, tennis bracelets, tennis necklace, like, carrot rings, watches. Like, fuck that. Like, I buy clothes. Don't get me wrong. That's where I fuck up. Oh, what the hell's up with this filter? It's gross. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, I buy clothes. I can't help it. But, like, everything else, like, fuck no. I'm not buying shit. And probably bags. I would, would buy myself bags. I, like, I don't really own a lot of bags. Like, so far this year, I only bought two bags. Because I wanted to finish, like, my Chanel collection. Um, of, like, classics, at least. I always like the... Uh, the beige with the gold uh, hardware but every time I try it on I feel like the color it just looks so yellow on me it's not a good color on me so that's why I haven't gotten the beige one but I got an exotic leather which is what I want I got the so black so I'm pretty much like good with the Chanel bags right now I'm just moving on to like Hermes now back to uh, like uh, fixing back my Hermes collection Wait, you guys actually want to see me without a filler? Filter? It's scary. Look. Look. I have no filter now. And I don't have... I told you guys, I don't have any foundation on. Look at... My pores are, like, so bad. Like, don't judge me. Like, I just have a lot of, like, redness around my skin. I literally have been up since 6 a.m. I got out the house since, like, 9 a.m. Like, I did a bunch of shopping. I did, like, 20K steps. It's, like, hot, greasy... It's Saturday, like, I just made dinner as well. Like, I cook. Like, I'm just... There's no foundation, okay, guys? I'm not wearing foundation. This is just my skin, okay? It's, it's If it makes me uncomfortable, I'm going to put back a filter on there. But... I guess you guys like this weird look. This, like, ratty-ass, like... Look. Also, um... I started like filming some YouTube videos during my trip when I was in Milan and stuff. I just don't know if I'm going to upload it because I don't know how I feel. Like I feel like if my face looks like this, it's kind of like you see that. Like, ew, bitch, you look old. Like, do I really want to upload the content on YouTube and a big ass screen for you guys to pause and like look at everything? Like, ugh. But I feel like fuck it, I should just upload what do you guys think? Should I do the YouTube thing? I just I just want to come back in town, back from my from my trip, and I want to reanalyze my whole life purpose and just do what the fuck I want to do. Like I'm gonna do my YouTube shit. I'm gonna create a Finsta on 
Instagram and be like posting every day on TikTok. I try to go on live. I told myself I was going to go live TikTok every day, but I got literally banned within the first five minutes on TikTok. So that really sucks. Um, what else? Yeah, I wanted to take everything to TikTok, but they just fucked me up like that. They literally fucked me up, which is why I'm on here. Um, what else? Okay, so since I look like a hot, greasy ass, disgusting mess, like I'm gonna show you guys what I bought today. You guys already saw the cutting board. That was the only color that they had, basically. Like, um, they only had this, like, in this rectangular shape, the dark brown. I really like it because it, if it stains, it's dark anyway. So it's not like this color that you could see like oil and stains and spills. It's like this color. So I'm actually really happy about this color wood. Um, I got that from Crate and Barrel. I couldn't make it to William Sonoma because bitch did not want to take an Uber there. I just wanted to like walk. Um, hold on, let me show you guys what else I got. this fucking thing keeps dying on me this phone all the phones are dying okay i got water obviously like evian water i just have it on subscription i have my fiji water and my evian on subscription but sometimes they run out of like fiji so it just like it's really annoying to me um what else Uh, that way they stay up at there and you could take longer videos wait what 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 stays up there oh thank you guys I'm like sometimes i know i'm gorgeous and sometimes i just feel like a literal like piece of shit <laughs> you guys have those days where you just feel like a literal piece of shit like a I wish my eyebrows were more like straight and not as archy, but okay, whatever. We're working with what was.